Hey, what's up? This is Dilio, and uh, I'm going to talk. This is a vlog, and I'm at the daytime, and uh, I'm in a situation where I'm going to be staying way later than I expected, which cuts into the time that I take to take care of the house, take care of things, make phone calls, take care of business, you know, stuff, personal stuff. And uh, so I just wanted to take time to, to uh, first of all, thank everybody who watches the channel and check things out. I want to make sure I thank you guys for that. And uh, thank you for rolling with me on this process as I try to grow the YouTube channel with the hope of maybe one day making it uh, half of my fully income or full time income. You know, or one of them, you know, I want to grow that. Yes, I am trying to grow the channel. Just crossed over to 23,000 subscribers. And by the way, if you're only interested in remakes and stuff like that, that's fine with me. Go ahead and go in the next video. That's cool. That's coming up. But I wanted to talk about some ideas as a aspiring artist and music producer and stuff like that. Um, as you already know, the Olympics has finally wrapped up, which is wrapped up for a while. But all you could do would just be in awe of about... Of, the 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 not musicians the athletes who came in there and just cleaned up the the female gymnasts the track team uh the swim team did good and i've been wanting to do a vlog about this and that was to celebrate other people's victories and i'm going to talk about that first and then i'll probably will go into talking about the struggles and the fight to turn a dream of being a full-time artist or producer into reality but I think that it's important to celebrate other people's victories. And I know it can be challenging sometimes, and it can be challenging for me sometimes when you go down your feed of people that you know, and you just see people get all the things that are just so hard for you to get. And you see other people achieve things and get placements and, and, and move out of town, move away. Uh, somewhat start a new life. People get these things. And these are all things that you've been wanting for um, or prayed for or looked other people live at on on YouTube. And, you know, I had to, to learn to just celebrate other people's victories because it takes less of a toll on you. It takes less of a mental drain. Uh, there's something about your energy that stays consistent when you're able to say good for them. And it's a process. And I think one of the chances that makes it so hard to celebrate uh, other people's victories is when things aren't so going so great for your own thing. You're having a hard time. You're really having a hard time with the job. Um, there's some things you're working on, like for me, music and stuff like that I want to do. Um, long story short, I guess I'll talk about a little bit about my story. Um since I've kind of got into a new job, um, I started going to open mics a lot and stuff like that. And I started to really do a lot of things socially. And as things progressed, I ended up working later. And what would happen? I remember this. I remember why I stopped playing in bands. Let me tell you why I stopped playing in bands. The last band I was in had practices on Monday nights. And this was a work day for me. And no matter how I could turn the schedule or stuff like that, the, the leader of that band just didn't really give a damn about the fact that I do not know when I'm going to be done working for the day. In the nature of this job that I'm in, you do not know what time you're going to be done. That's the nature of it. I don't, it's not a complaint. It's just an announcement of fact that if when you work at a job, when you don't know what time you're going to get out, it is near impossible to please anyone, especially if you run with a band and the, the band leader is kind of like, Ugh. you know, make sure you can get here on time, stuff like that. And I told y'all up front and you tell them up front, hey, guys, these are the challenges I deal with. And I've yet to to, to run into a band or leader um, that is understanding of that, which is why I don't play in bands right now. Um, and I miss playing in bands. I like singing in bands. I like have fun. But a lot of times the leader of the band doesn't go out of their way to make things work for you they will go out of their way to make things work for them in their favor and not really give too much understanding as far as to what your circumstances are and that reality uh, sucks because you're doing what you gotta do to survive 
you know you want to develop something do corporate bands and, and be part of other people's programs but a lot of people's programs don't go out of their way for your convenience you know and don't understand the nature of some obligations that you have in your life and so why bother at all and uh, a lot of artists and musicians and bands don't understand that that's why i'm so important on doing my own thing but as the lifestyle continues there's there's you can't hit open mics you can't really go to networking events unless you take the day off but you got to work you got to survive you know and that's why selling chemicals and just trying to build my own business is so important to me because the dream one of the dreams is to have my own business to generate the income I need and not to be a millionaire or anything but to generate the income that I need to survive to live comfortably and not have to have everything under the sun but yet have the flexibility I need to pursue my dreams you know I think that's what any job should do if your dream is to take care of your family then the job you work at should provide you the funds to do that but that's another thing because if you're working for someone else the nature of working for someone else means that that employer will always uh, gear it towards their advantage and not yours which I understand it's, it's just business so my thing is why don't I build a business uh, build a YouTube channel that I run that will help me to provide the lifestyle or the flexibility the power the control I need to do things how I want to do which goes back to the point of you know things are stuck you know you see other people performing they're doing shows and you want to be a part of that at least on your terms to where you're doing your own thing alongside with them you know um and you don't have that flexibility to be out there on the streets like that you don't have you know you want to be part of shows you want to perform and it's a big challenge for me to uh do that when i don't know when i'm going to be done and a lot of times these shows are so and then sometimes it works out when the organizer can tell me ahead of time enough to where I can make things work for it. But if you know anything about the scene here in Atlanta, it's mad disorganized. I'll just call it out there. It's just mad disorganized. You don't know when things are going on. And a lot of people are doing things aren't really telling me anything about what they're doing. They just got, got it. And I'm like, wow, how'd you get that? You know, um, so coming back full circle as I talk. Um, in the meantime, while I'm in a position where I cannot so easily be flexible for musicians and for shows and stuff like that, even battles, um, to celebrate other people's victories and be at peace and to know that one day, a day will come where you'll have the flexibility you need, your expenses will be taken care of and you will be that much more powerful. And I think once that day come, I'll be, I will be that much more appreciative, but in that time it's been a lot of isolation i have to go home straight home and try to crank out a track or two to send out because the day is so taken of the day gig you know which is why i really stick to just one remake video and i haven't even got to my covers yet that I've, that I've been working on and that's tough that's tough and then you're catching up on everything on the weekend so oh yeah you want to do a show well you're not going to get to do laundry because that's the only day you really have to go do laundry because you don't have a washer and dryer in the house. And uh, so in the meantime, while things are like that, I celebrate you, whoever watches that. And just, you know, a lot of people got things better than where you got. A lot of people got things better than what I got it. And then somebody say, well, you got it better than me. But are you celebrating me? And for those who are who have the ability to do what they want to do and do music and live the lifestyle I want, it's less drain on me to just say, man, I wish I had and just say, hey, great for you. Great. Celeb I celebrate you. Enjoy that. And uh, that's the point. So I'm going to do some more vlogs because I like to vlog. I like to work on my speaking. What am I looking? Am I look? Is this the okay? That's the camera. I keep looking at the screen. I keep looking at screen, but uh, yeah, we're going to do the screen thing, uh, remake and uh, more vlogs, more topics. I may film me another one, but the point of this video is, and I know I went off on a tangent to say, celebrate other people's victories. Be happy for other people who have what you have that you're trying to go for.
don't want theirs, but want your own. And to me, in your pursuit of what you're trying to do, just be happy. Just be happy for others while they got it, okay? All right, I'm out of here. Peace.